On Tuesday, May 19th, Greater Amsterdam School District residents will go to the polls to vote on a proposed $65 million budget for the 2015-2016 school year. Voters will also elect two candidates to the Board of Education and decide on a proposition from the Fort Hunter Free Library to allow the district to levy a $10,000 tax to help support the library. The budget plan calls for a 2.8% spending increase over the current school year and an increase in the district tax levy of 2%, which is below the district's state tax levy cap for Amsterdam of 3.4%. The district will receive a $556,000 increase in foundation aid and the return of $427,000 through partial restoration of the GEA. However, a decrease in building aid leaves the district with $122,000 less in state aid than was budgeted in 2014-2015. As far as the aid goes, uh, it was disappointing for Amsterdam. It really wasn't uh, the increase that we expected. District officials reviewed each line item and determined where reductions could be made. The proposed budget uses $273,000 of fund balance and $732,000 paid to the district by Beechnut Corporation, a fine levied because the company did not meet employment numbers required by its payment in lieu of taxes agreement. We have strived to try and build our fund balance to a level where we are not um, on the state controller's physically stressed uh, list, and we were able to get off of that last year. One of the things that I've told the board over and over again since I've been here is that you do not want to rely upon the fund balance to um, fund everyday expenses. We will use some of that fund balance. Um, we won't have any choice if we want to continue to keep the programs that we presently have. That is the goal of both the board and the superintendent. Among the new items included in the proposed budget is a fifth grade teacher at McNulty to address a population bubble and money for 13 additional students to attend the Pathways in Technology Early College High School program, also known as PTEC. The district will also add five teachers of English to speakers of other languages. This is in response to new rules governing how public schools educate non-English speaking students. The positions will cost the district an estimated $375,000. The 2% tax levy increase would raise $413,000 and enable the district to close the gap with current programs and staff in place. Based on the 2% tax levy increase proposed by the district, a taxpayer in the city of Amsterdam will see a decrease of $0.76 cents per $1,000 of taxable assessed value. In the town of Amsterdam, an increase of $12.37, and in the town of Florida, an increase of $2.38. However, if the district meets provisions of the tax freeze credit, all residents who see an increase over their 2014-2015 school tax bill will receive a rebate. We're mindful of the impact on our taxpayers, and it certainly is not going to be an easy decision to make, but we are mindful of them, and we want to come up with something that's uh, realistic and feasible for the community. The district's four polling sites are open from noon to 9 p.m. on May 19th. For more information, visit the district's website, www.gasd.org.